Welcome back mga kadi. Again, we are here for another differential equation video tutorial. This time, we will continue solving problem involving homogeneous differential equation. For our second example, we need to find the complete solution of x squared minus xy plus y squared dx minus xy dy is equivalent to 0. So, First, itinan muna natin kung siya ba ay homogeneous bago natin solvin. So, kung mapasin natin, ang exponent nito is 2. Ang exponent nito is 1, 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. Then, the third term is 2 also. Then, dito, sa fourth term natin is 2 also. So, 2, 2, 2, 2. So, therefore, our equation is homogeneous with degree 2. So, pwede natin gamitin yung ating solution in homogeneous differential equation. Then, identify natin ano ba yung papalitan natin? Yung y o yung x. Obviously, pag pinalitan natin yung x, so magkakameron tayo ng dx. Kung papalitan natin yung dx, magkakameron tayo ng binomial. So, binomial times trinomial, sobrang haba nun. So, mas madali na gamitin natin is yung y na lang ulit. So, let y is equivalent to bx. At ang derivative ng y, that is simply b dx plus x db. So again, we will substitute all value of y to bx. We will substitute bx to all value of y and b dx plus x db to the value of dy. So, x squared, just copy, minus x times y. So we have bx plus y squared, that is bx squared times dx minus x. Palta natin yung y ng bx. Then yung dy is b dx plus x db is equivalent to 0. Again, before natin pagsamasamahin yung similar terms, we need to simplify muna. So meron tayo ditong x squared minus x squared b plus b squared x squared dx minus x squared b b dx plus x db is equivalent to 0. Then, if we factor out x squared, so, matitira lang dyan is 1 minus b plus b squared dx minus x squared b b dx plus x db is equivalent to 0. So, yung ating first term, ito yung, yung may dx ay meron tayong x squared. So, tapos yung second term natin meron tayong x squared. So, pwede natin i-multiply both sides by 1 over x squared para masimplify natin yung equation. Then, pagsamahin na natin yung pwede natin pagsamahin, which is 1 minus b plus b squared dx minus b times b is b squared dx b times x so may negative so negative bx db is equivalent to 0 so we have 1 minus b plus b squared dito ito ay dx din so pwede natin ipasok sa loob so b squared dx minus bx db is equivalent to 0. So, this will be cancelled out. So, kung mapasin natin, meron tayong dx or in terms of x at saka in terms of b. So, meron tayong b at saka meron x. So, next plus natin is variable, separable. So, divide all terms by yung kailangang mawala which is 1 minus b dito. At dito naman, kailangang mawala niya is yung x. Pag dinivide natin itong first term dito ang matitira is dx over x minus bdb all over 1 minus b kasi makakansal naman yung x is equivalent to 0. Palayo lang. So, sabi ko nga nung first video natin, ito yung parang magiging checking natin. Meron tayong dx over x na luwambas kasi ang pinalit natin ay y. 
So, next natin yung gawin is pwede natin integrate ito. Kaya lang, yung second term natin, kung mapansin natin, parang sila ng exponent. Di ba? Pag may rational function tayo na parang ang exponent, ang ginagawa natin is nagkakameron tayo ng division. Kaya lang, before natin i-proceed yun, ipasok muna natin negative dito para hindi tayo mas malito. So, we just copy dx over x. So, we have plus yung negative, i-multiply natin sa denominator. So, matitira na lang dyan ay 1 or b kasi maging positive yung b minus 1 is equivalent to 0. Again, yung binagid ko kanina, hindi pa natin siya pwedeng integrate since magkaparaw sila ng exponent. So, ang gagawin natin is i-divide lang muna natin yung b sa b minus 1. So, b divided by b minus 1 is 1 b minus 1 So, b minus b is 0. 0 minus, di ba, ma-minus natin ito. Magiging 1 ito. So, b db over b minus 1 is also equivalent to, so, copy lang muna nito. So, b db over b minus 1 is also equivalent to 1 plus 1 over b minus 1 db is equivalent to 0. So, yun lang yung kanyang simplify form. Kasi hindi nga natin pwedeng integrate ito. So, upon integration, dx over x is also equivalent to ln x. Ang integral ng 1 o dv is b. Integral ng one, dv over b minus 1 is ln b minus 1 is equivalent to ln c na lang. Kasi may iba nakasi din. So, sabi natin kanina, yung b natin ay equivalent sa y over x. So, papaltan na natin ang b ng y over x. So, ln x. Pagsamayin natin itong dalawang ln, tapos lahat ng ln sa left side, yung walang ln sa right side na lang. So, ln x plus ln y over x minus 1. Minus ln c is equivalent to negative y over x. Ano nangyari? We transpose v on the right hand side. We substitute the value of v which is y over x. Then simplify pa natin. Since nakalun tong tatlo, we have addition. Pag addition, yung logarithm nating properties, magiging multiplication lang siya. So ln x times ito, simplify na natin habang inaayos natin dito. That is y minus x over x. Since ito ay negative, sabi natin magiging division siya o magiging ilalim. Divide by c. Equivalent to negative y over x. So, makakansil na itong x. So, magkakamero tayo ng ln. Ln. Y minus x over c is equivalent to negative y over x. Para mawala yung ln, so lagyan natin ng e, erase natin yung ating equation by yung e, erase natin to, then e din to, so mawawala to. So, remaining is y minus x over c is equivalent to e negative y over x or pag isisimplify pa natin yan, o yun ay simple lang. That is, pag simplify natin to, pwede natin i-write as y minus x is equivalent to c e negative y over x. So, that's the final answer for number 2 natin. So, thank you and see you on the next video natin.